Good morning. It is Tuesday. Tuesday. Anyway, usually I do our. <laughs> Sorry, if you can hear that. Um, usually I do our grocery shopping on Mondays just to get everything for the week, but it's Tuesday and there's no other reason I, other than that it's Tuesday and I'm gonna go. Also, I do prefer to do. Hang on. I do prefer to go on Tuesdays. Like I prefer to go Mondays just because I can get it done and it's out of the way for the week. But Tuesdays is when Trader Joe's gets all their new stock in. So it's Tuesday, I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I literally, like I said, I do 98% of our grocery shopping. Well, I do 98% of the grocery shopping anyway, but I do like 98% of our grocery shopping at Trader Joe's just because I like everything they have. I've never been let down by a product, and if you don't like something, you can return it. So yeah, Zachariah and I are going to Trader Joe's. Zachariah, you ready to go to Trader Joe's? Everyone loves you there, huh? All right, just pulled up to the store, realized I didn't make a grocery list. Yes, I'm old school, and I like to make a physical grocery list, so I guess I'm just gonna wing it. I would take you inside, but I'm pretty sure that if you film in Trader Joe's, they kick you out, so. Zachariah, you helping mama with the groceries? No? Okay, bye. All right, so we're back home. Ian is down. Ian is down. <laughs> Zachariah is down for a nap. Ian's home from his haircut. Fresh. Hey, careful, careful. It is time for my, well, hour, but again, I do most of this grocery shopping. My grocery haul from Trader Joe's. A lot of treats this time. But we'll leave those for oh, the really? end. <laughs> oh, shoot. It's seasonal. I had to buy all the seasonal oh. stuff because if you've ever been to Trader Joe's and you get their seasonal stuff, you know it goes like quickly. And you don't know if that's the last restock mm -hmm. or if they're gonna have it like through Christmas. Anyway. Did, you, did they have bark? They didn't. Dang! <laughs> See, Trader Joe's has this thing called cowboy bark. It's like this chocolate, these chocolate chunky pieces with pretzels and some other stuff. I can't remember, but it's so good. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. We weren't supposed to dig into this until <clears throat> this week, but... Oh my gosh, this stuff is next so level. Dark chocolate with toffee pretzels, Jojo cookies, whatever those are, peanuts, almonds, and a sprinkling of salt. There... If you ever... Not part of, this is not a part of our I'm just saying, haul. but. That's true, but if you're not being healthy and you see these at Trader Joe's, you gotta get them. They're so good. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna start with the healthy stuff first. Yes. And then if you care to see what we quote unquote cheat on, then stay tuned. Um, cauliflower florets. I like to buy the bag stuff because I'm lazy and I don't wanna cut stuff up and clean it <laughs> and wash it. Yeah, so that. yeah. You can throw this in the microwave or, which I don't really care for microwave steamed cauliflower personally, but I put this in the air fryer and toss it in some buffalo mm -hmm. sauce and buffalo cauliflower. Now, it does not That's taste good. like chicken. It is not, people that tell you that buffalo cauliflower tastes like buffalo chicken, it does not. I but mean, it's no, good for what it it's, is. It's good for what it is, but it's not, it's not the real thing. It's not buffalo chicken. It's not chicken. It's not chicken. I got this pastrami um, smoked salmon last week. Got That's it again good. this week. It's really good. Wait, was this the one that was? Um, That's the one I told you about, and then you're like, the roast okay, beef yeah, one? thanks. Did you call it roast beef? No, I said pastrami. Oh, did you just say pastrami? Yeah. No, I didn't just say pastrami. I she said called it roast beef salmon I last did time. Not. It's pastrami salmon. <laughs> ah. I'm just kidding. Uh, this is really good. Yeah. I put this with like, um, I'll do egg whites, some salmon. I'm Delicious. Excited. Great breakfast. I eat it with cream cheese and a bagel, but that's just me. <laughs> the bagel thins what? for now. What? You get 0% yeah. non-fat Greek yogurt. Fun fact, you can use this in, in <laughs> you can use this in place of sour cream. I don't That know is this. true. If someone put this in front of me, like on a Mexican food spread, I wouldn't know the difference. No. I mean, we just started using this as sour cream yeah. recently and yeah, obviously don't get the Greek yogurt that's like vanilla or honey or yeah. something like that. But get plain, the plain, throw it on, yeah. Whatever fat you want, we use non-fat. Um, it's really good though. But yeah. Throw that Who needs on. sour cream? Don't need it. You don't need it. At least this way, if you feel like you need the taste of sour cream, you're getting the taste of sour cream with the benefits of Greek yogurt. All that protein, yep. probiotics, good stuff for you. Yeah. Mushrooms, because I like mushrooms. Yep. Celery hearts, cut this up, use it for 
I don't know, celery stuff. Well, I will say, I mean, I, I'll eat like, I'll make tuna and then yeah. I'll eat it with, like instead of a fork, we're putting on a sandwich. sandwich. I'll have a celery stick and I'll like scoop the tuna, eat the celery with the tuna. That's good. Or you could cut it up and put it in tuna. I think a lot of people do that too. Soups. We haven't really had soups because it's been over 90 degrees here, so yeah. Yeah, no thanks. And not, who wants a bisque? Bisque? Bisque. <laughs> Cold soup, no oh, thanks. Why don't you just leave it out? I don't Go know ahead. what happened with this uh... <laughs> <laughs> shrink wrap. <laughs> shrink wrap. The green say, onion. It does say green onions. Uh, you need green onions. Sealed for freshness. Look at that. <laughs> Super sealed. It's all smushed. Spinach. A giant bag of spinach. Essential. Zachariah has a smoothie every morning. Every single morning. We have smoothies enough. Um, obviously, you can use spinach for whatever, but I like to throw in his smoothie so I know he's getting at least one serving of greens a day. He gets vegetables every mm -hmm. day, but at least like he starts his day off with vegetables. I put in my smoothies, his smoothies for a smoothie family. <clears throat> Got dates. I get the pitted ones because I'm lazy and I don't want to cut the pits out. Um, <laughs> Who does though? I don't. <laughs> These are great if you want to use like a natural sweetener in smoothies or what I like to do is I'll take some um, cheese. What kind of cheese? Greek. Greek cheese. Greek cheese? Goat cheese. I have a goat cheese with honey and I'll scoop that and put it in the middle. Nice pr little protein, fruit, snack, whatever. It's really good. Um, but tell them what also you do. Also, I'll This throw, is my favorite. Go ahead, Which tell I didn't get this idea. My friend Alicia, did. well I don't think she came up with it, but I saw it on her page. Um, she puts, she takes a date, opens it up, puts some sort of peanut butter or almond butter. I prefer almond butter. Ian likes peanut butter, throws some chocolate chips on it, or I guess most people melt it. I'm just, I don't have the time to melt mm. the chocolate. I've also seen people use, um, put coconut butter inside, and then it turns into like a healthy mounds. All things to, to try. All right, what's next? We got a bunch of these, a bunch of these sticks. I like the jalapeno ones. Ian does not. <laughs> Ian gets the turkey ones. These are nice little snacks for on the go. They've got how many? 10 grams of protein, 60 yeah. calories. I've so got nine grams of protein. If I'm at work and I'm gonna hit the gym after work or something like that. Grab this in the string, car. A string cheese, yeah. you're good. Yep. Um, what did I get? Pickles. Pickles! These pickles are good. Wait, dill or sweet? Dill. Thank S the Lord. Sweet pickles are trash. I have been obsessed with this ghee and sunflower oil spray because you get the taste of butter, but you don't get all the fat from butter, yeah. so. There is an issue, and I will, I will describe the issue. I'm gonna read it to you. Hold can six to 12 inches from unheated cooking surface. Spray until coated, heat to cooking temperature, blah, 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 blah. If product does not spray correctly, which it does not, put the can in hot water for five minutes before using. Some of us have- You gotta heat up water, put the thing in for five minutes? Some of us have this kind of time. Some of us are impatient and don't like to wait. It's not so. impatience, it's just, if I have a spray, I feel like it should spray. The last one to spray. It did spray, it did but spray. the previous three did not spray. The previous one. This is only my third bottle. Well, it felt like a lot because I had to put it in for a total of probably 75 total minutes over the life of the can. Anyway, <sighs> for those of us that do most of the cooking, I don't mind having to wait five minutes. I felt like that was a little... <laughs> coffee. Uncalled for. Because one of yes. us needs coffee. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Let's see. So he gets coffee. I drink tea. Um, this is a tea concentrate. I either just drink it straight, not straight, but I usually, I'll either just drink it straight with some water, um, sometimes a lemon. What? Is it concentrate or is it concentrate? Whatever it is. Well, what is it? <laughs> because know. you said concentrate, and now I'm <laughs> just, sounded, just sounded funny. What was that other word? If I'm feeling fancy. I'll throw some um, sweet cream creamer in it, and yeah, we'll do that. A cucumber, because cucumbers are good for you. Yep, uh, again, chop them up, put in salad, put in an omelet, if you need some like vegetables in your eggs, with tomatoes and spinach and cheese. Yeah. yeah. Or, again, with tuna. I eat a lot of eggs and tuna. You do. Ian yeah. is pretty good about, he's very consistent. I can be. He can be. You don't need a lot of variety in your food. I do. Except when I do this. <laughs> and I buy things I'm not supposed to buy. That's been in there for like two months. I should test it then to see if it's still good. 
I'm gonna keep going. I've got these sweet peppers. I like to cut and throw, um, I'll chop these up, do some sort of like a turkey sausage or chicken sausage, some mm -hmm. spaghetti squash, and it's like sausage and peppers rustica from Olive Garden. Also, if you like the taste of peppers like I do, you can just wash them, cut them, and eat them like this snack on them instead yeah. of eating chips. I'll chop them up and eat them with hummus sometimes. Yeah. If we have it. But it's a good like crunch, nice snack. Yeah. Broccoli, because broccoli it's a is good for you. Broccoli. I'm gonna put that with the cauliflower. They live together. I got these. Um, I love sausage. I love bacon. So I got. I've gotten these before. I haven't bought these recently, but they're their maple Sorry. chicken breakfast sausage. Yeah. They're good. Last week I bought this just chicken breakfast sausage. I didn't really taste the difference between this and regular pork links. No, I mean I think it's they, not as greasy. Not as greasy, but they put the same seasoning yeah, in there and so. it tastes the same. It's good. Halloumi so cheese. Good. It's cheese that you can grill. I haven't made it yet, but so it's a grilled cheese. It's literally like a grilled cheese. <laughs> no bread. Hold the bread. Hold the bread. I don't think this goes with abs. Yeah. Yeah. Protein. A one-inch cube. Oh, that's a lot. Never mind. Well. This will be for a nice like treat, you know. I love an arugula lemon salad with parmesan, so I got arugula. Ian's not quite a big fan, as big a fan, but you know, you've, it's grown on you. Yeah, I mean, if you like bitter lettuce, you know. I got shaved Brussels sprouts. I think I'm gonna saute this with the ghee spray. Um, Wait five minutes. <laughs> salt, pepper some Parmesan and some dried cranberries and that's just an easy side. That sounds pretty good actually. Yeah. I like oatmeal. Ian doesn't care for it. I feel like a lot of this is... No, it's just, stuff. let me just clarify, it's just it, it kind of messes with my stomach sometimes, that's all. But steel cut oats don't. But steel cut oats, yeah you're right. Are these the instant? Steel cut oats. They have an instant steel cut or quick cooking. I could do that. Yeah, for some reason like the Quaker oats, they mess with my stomach, but steel cut, they're gentle. They're gentle on my system. I see two more bags and I'm excited. Come on, show me the good stuff. Show me the stuff. I want to see it. Hello. Go ahead and continue. I'm just over here making coffee. I need, I need a little pick-me-up. Ian needed a little pick-me-up and I needed to grab stuff from the freezer that I put away while I was putting the boy down for his nap. I got these turkey burgers because they're really easy to have on hand and to get extra protein and they're fast. And if you're a mom, you know that easy, fast meals are necessary. I lost Ian, but in the, in the process. Oh, you're back. Nice. I don't want to show that yet because I don't know that that's healthy. Oh my gosh. What is don't this? show that. Bananas. Enough said. Smoothies. Almond butter. No salt. Uh, again, I put this in the dates. I put this in smoothies. I'll put this on my oatmeal. What do I put it in? Doesn't Every, matter. It's everything. almond butter. I use it. I don't care for peanut butter as much. I like almond butter. It's a little smoother. It's also more expensive, but I'm the only one that uses it, so it lasts us a lot longer. Almond beverage. I prefer when they say beverage because you can't milk a nut. It's technically juice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where's Mythbuster? <laughs> you can't milk a nut. <laughs> <laughs> Stop saying it. You have to say it over and over again. But it's basically almond juice. You can't juice a nut either. Yeah, you can. You can juice it the same way that you juice like vegetables. All right, garlic chipotle salsa. I saw oh. this on someone else's. Um, we don't have chips right now in the house. But we're if not we eating did, chips. We'd put this on that. I put it on some eggs. It's delicious. If we had chips, they'd be gone in five minutes. I eat the whole bag. I can't help myself. Yeah, especially with salsa. So I just got the salsa, no chips. Although I was tempted to get chips. I got two honey crisp apples. Don't come at me for using plastic. I think this is sustainable. I mean, it feels very like felt. E, stand by. Coffee maker's going if you hear a noise. So, go ahead. Two peaches. <laughs> what? You're like, two peaches. Two peaches. <laughs> um, we still have three in the fridge. I don't feel like it's the end of peach season, so I didn't want I usually get the big crate of peaches. Yeah, they're not as good. But anymore. they're not as good as they were earlier. They still smell pretty good. But. Whether or not you use coffee creamer, I recently realized that in the non dairy creamer that we had, that it's like comprised mainly of vegetable oil. And I just can't consciously, like knowing that, I can't consciously put that in my body. Like, obviously, you use oil in cooking and other stuff, but I can't. 
put that in my coffee and then drink it. It's basically like drinking a tablespoon of yeah. Like I do it all day. Veggie oil. But this is better. So that being said, I got this sweet cream coffee creamer that has milk, sugar, cream, non-fat milk powder, and natural flavors. I don't know what the natural flavors are. That doesn't bother me nearly as much as vegetable oil. They taste good, so yeah. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and use some for my coffee. Look at yeah. this mug. Focus. Come on. Focus. Dun 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 Law and Order SVU mug. I got it for Liesl because she loves that show. Yes, I do. Favorite show. Ironically, I use it the most, but you know. Well, that concludes the healthy part of our haul. Um, we probably eat healthy. I would say like. 80 to 90% of yeah, the time. Yeah, uh, maybe like six days out of the week. Six days out of the week. And even like on that seventh day, we're not like eating trash. It's just like, we'll just loosen loosen it up a little bit. Yeah, cue this, go ahead. So I saw this on at Trader Joe's List's Instagram, non-dairy oat beverage, maple. I like oat milk, which again, can't really milk an oat, but they said oat beverage, so. Maple flavored? Maple flavored. I kind of wish I would have put this in my coffee you now to try it. I had some, it tastes good. I had some in a smoothie. Why are you smiling like that? Because this is the fun oh, bag. Oh gosh, this is the temptation bag. This is the temptation bag. All right. Now, I'm no basic, but I did do something very basic and I bought pumpkin pie spice. Now, what? I will say this pumpkin pie spice doesn't have anything pumpkin in it. It's just the stuff that you would use in pumpkin. Yeah. Stuff. So it's got cinnamon, ginger, lemon peel, nutmeg, cloves, and cardamom. So it's just very like fall. Did but you say it has Cardi B in it? <laughs> Cardi Mom. <laughs> Cardi Mom. Cardi Mom. Cardi B Mom. Um, it's $1.99. Can you see that? There we go. Well, whatever. These are new. I guess they're kind of like Pirate's Booty. But they're jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. What is Pirate's Booty? It's like the corn and rice puffs. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know that's what it was called. Oh, yeah. That's what, that's what the brand is called. So it's like a it's like a jalapeno spicy booty. <laughs> yes, yeah, like a jalapeno spicy booty. This can go like either way because granola inherently isn't good for you. It's that can only go one way. Trader Joe's caramel apple flavored granola. That's only going one way. Yeah, that is not but... healthy. Two hundred and fifty calories for what? For a one three, serving. For three quarters of a cup. I'm not eating three quarters of a cup of granola. I do like a little sprinkling on top of like my Greek yogurt or um, I would crush this whole bag. You would, <laughs> which is why this is a treat. Um, I'll sprinkle it a little bit, less than like a quarter of a cup on my oatmeal okay. or on my Greek yogurt. I will not eat it by itself with like milk. I just, I can't, I don't generally eat cereal with milk anyway. <clears throat> That's I'm more true, of like though. a dry cereal person, so. Oh, what are you doing to me? I'm sorry. You got 80 20, guys. 80 20. <laughs> Maple and sea salt kettle fun. Because I had to. Gosh, that looks so good, too. Dang, we that looks good. All right, also, we don't keep our bad bad snacks. I don't think any snacks are bad. It just depends on how many you eat. How many you eat. We, so we don't keep our bad snacks where we can see them. We keep them like around the corner. So if we want them, yeah. we have to like go searching for them. They're not just like right there in front of the, like in the pantry. And they're literally booby trapped. Yes. Because they're like, they're like behind, behind stuff, behind the table in there. You got to really make effort to get over yes. there. So, you know. These dark chocolate cookie sticks, they're like $1.69. Two and a half servings in here. Um, it probably took me a full week and I'm still not done with the other one. Just grab a couple. They're basically like Pocky, but Jerry Joe's version. He doesn't care for them as much. I do. I like dark chocolate anything. Yes, true. These are my guilty pleasure. They are these ketchup flavored spud crunchies that I, every time I go, I buy like two bags. At because least. Because I don't want to run out, so I bought three. Dang! Because See, I knew, I knew there was not just two bags. They're seasonal. They're summer seasonal, and summer's almost over. So I will have to wait a full year to have these, so I just stock up. Well, I feel like you bought a fourth bag. I didn't, but there is a fourth bag in my car. I knew it. I had one more healthy thing, but it's not really that healthy. Also, make sure that when you buy garlic, it has the roots on it. That's how you know your garlic isn't bleached and grown in sewer water. Safe garlic. And don't buy um, pre-peeled or pre-cut garlic. These are dangerous. 
They're not the most healthy for you, but they're delicious. They are really surprisingly good. They're like peanut wafer batons mm -hmm. and then dip them in raspberry jelly and they're so good. But like the peanut butter inside of them, it's not, you know how sometimes you get a peanut butter snack and it's kind of powdery? Yeah. The peanut butter here is like ooey gooey. It's gooey. It's so good. It's not super sweet. Like old, it's just peanut butter. So it's not sweet. So you don't, you don't feel like you're eating like straight sugar. I got, forgot I had two limes, but you don't always need limes for like Mexican food or really anything. I got these because Whoa. I'm a candy fiend. I'm addicted to sugar. I'm, well, I'm not addicted. I'm addicted to candy, which I guess is addicted to sugar. Apple fruit snacks, mango jalapeno. So they're like the fruit leather fruit snacks. They're small. They're small. Yeah. I already opened them. Oh. They're good. You probably won't like them. I'm he, doesn't, them. he doesn't care for like the mango tahine spicy fruit. They're not bad. Don't you? Know, they're fine. Hey, let me try one more. I'm not sure if I like it. No. Let me try another one. And then last but not least. <laughs> it got, it's got you. some heat it in got the back. Yeah. I don't want any more. I knew it. Oh man. Last but Why not Why is that so spicy? Sorry. <laughs> okay. You're okay? Last but not least, I got a candle. Whenever they come out with their new seasonal candle. This isn't a new scent, but it hasn't been around since last year. What is it? Vanilla pumpkin. It smells Ooh. good. You just want stuff that... It's easy to open and it's just easy... That's nice. Yeah. Holidays. Yeah, holidays. It smells like holidays. And these I feel like aren't super... They're, they're pretty fragrant, but they're not like overpowering. It's like they it's like they wrap the environment up in a warm, delicious yeah. hug. There hasn't been... They don't like punch you in the face when you walk Exactly. In. I can't... I'm pretty sensitive to smells. He's really sensitive to smells and scents. Um, <laughs> smells and scents? Smell is an is a is a verb. A scent is a noun. Okay, mom. <laughs> anyway, he's pretty kidding, he's pretty sensitive. I love you. He's pretty sensitive. I'm semi sensitive. I was for sure last year when I was pregnant. Yeah. Um, but this one smells really good. Yeah, I like that one. Um, That's yeah. nice. They're three ninety nine. So I usually get a couple, you especially if they're my favorite scent. During Christmas, they have a cedar balsam one that smells. Amazing. It smells like Christmas mm -hmm. in a tin. I can't wait for Christmas. Me oh, neither. So our, favorite, our favorite season. Ow. <laughs> our favorite season. Chestnuts oh. roasting on an open fire. We gotta wrap this up. Okay. Oh, hey. that's it. Yeah, that's it. How much did you spend? $130. Good lord. <laughs> but our budget is 100 Sometimes I'm under, sometimes I'm over. Oh, rarely are you under, but I love you. Anyway. We hope you enjoyed this mostly healthy haul. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment your favorite things from Trader Joe's. Seasonal, non-seasonal, what you have to have mm -hmm. in your house at all times. And we'll see you in our next video.